What's up guys, Husky Shane, the base head here. So what we're gonna be doing today is putting a voltmeter in the go-kart, the Mitsubishi. Um, you know, one very important thing for base heads, of course, is to monitor your voltage. Well, my car doesn't come with a voltmeter, as most people don't. And before we install that bad boy and that bad boy, we need to have a way to make sure what's going on with our electrical system. Here is the voltmeter that I decided to go with. 1733200, I guess that's the product number. It's made by Blue C. This was a pretty expensive voltmeter. I think it was like 40 or 50 bucks. I ordered it on Amazon. If I can find the link, I'll put it in the description. Pretty simple here. We've just got a positive in and a negative in, and it looks like this could read all the way up to 24 volts, according to that right there. So, that's what I'm gonna use, and this is how we're gonna install it. This is the, uh, the piece that goes around your gauge bezel. So your steering wheel is right here. And, well, let me show you what I was gonna do. Okay. I had one of these, one of these stingers that you can buy pretty much anywhere, eBay, Amazon, and you just kind of, you know, mount this really anywhere. I was just gonna mount it on the passenger side dash, but I thought, you know, that just looks kind of cheap and out of place. I really could not find a place that I, liked the way that it looked, that it didn't just look like a sore thumb sticking out. So I didn't really want to go with that. And then I noticed this here. Oops. As you can see, that just pops right out. I don't know if Mitsubishi has another model where they have a gauge right here. I don't know. But anyway, I wanted to try to find something that fit in that gauge or that gauge hole. Well, let me show you. Let me kind of get this. I'll put you on a tripod here. That way I can use it. All right, so all you do to install this is just pull this nut off the back. And then I put it in there and thought, dang, it's just a little bit too small. Like you got that great big deep hole right there. I don't know, that doesn't really look like it goes there either, but it does fit through the hole in the back. So I got to rummaging around in my extra parts bin. You know, we all got one of those and I found these. These are just little surface tweeter pod mounts. I had them, who knows when I bought them. So I just punched that little uh, center piece out and ended up with that. So now I can use this as a spacer to hold that up out of there. Slide this in here like this and then it fits pretty much flush with that. Okay, so then all we do is run this nut on the back. Come on, baby. There we go. Okay. There, perfect fit really. I mean, we got just enough of this little plastic piece to hold that nut. 
and that fits in there, I mean, perfectly. It almost looks like, like Mitsubishi wanted me to put one of those right there. So anyway, that's how the voltmeter is gonna be mounted. It'll be right there in my gauge bezel, or right there under my gauge bezel, and it's it'll look a lot cleaner than just slapping this on my dash somewhere. Okay guys, we got our test bench here. Just to demonstrate how you would wire this up in your car, it is about as simple of a circuit as you as you can think of. I mean, it, there's there's two there's two pins on the back of it. Okay, I don't know if you can they are labeled, yep, positive, negative. That's it. All this really does is it reads the voltage of the current that's going through it. It doesn't draw very many amps. I don't know how many, but not very many. So you really don't need to run a relay or anything to operate this. Now you should have a fuse in here, which I will in my car, but for demonstration purposes, I don't. I just have, you got the 12 volt hot on the left and the negative on the right, okay? And then you got the negative going into the negative pole there, you know, positive, negative, about as easy as it gets. Now, again, if you just wired that up, positive, negative, your light would be on all the time, whether the car was on, whether the car was off. Well, then you obviously don't want that. So this is how I'm gonna have it wired in the car. I just have a simple on off toggle switch. All this does is it completes Complete your circuit in there. It's just like cutting it, putting it together. Cutting it, putting it together. That's really all you're doing with a switch like this. And I like to put it on the ground side in a circuit like this simply because I don't really want current going through that. I don't know, I'm not an electrician. Maybe that's above my pay grade, but for very simple wiring setups like this, I like to put my switch on the ground side. So. Let me see, you can just see, yep, we got red going into the positive, we got black with an inline switch going into the negative. I mean, it's blue, but whatever, you get the idea. So, theoretically, if I hit this switch, our voltage should come on, or our reading should come on on our voltmeter. All right, piece of cake. And then when I want to shut it off, just cut it. That's how that's going to be wired in the car. The hot is going to be running to my fuse block that's under the dash. Okay, guys. I apologize. I've got a really big rat's nest here, but I'm just kind of showing you guys how I have this wired up. So like I showed you before, this, this is the bezel that goes right here in the dash and my, ooh, don't want that. Voltmeter is gonna go right there. So as you can see, it's just got a positive and a negative off the back. And so the positive runs through my dash. Right, and I'm gonna clean all that up over to my fuse box, which is right over there. Okay, so it's fused up. And I don't really want it on all the time. I also don't really want it on just when the car is on. So I ran the ground through here, through this little toggle switch right there. So all I gotta do is flip this switch well, and then it and then it grounds right here. I don't know if you can see that. That God, sorry, my camera skills are not very good here today. There we go. That that little bolt right there. That's where I got my ground. Then I got this switch ran in line with the ground. So when I hit this on, there we go. Got voltage.
So we're gonna install that, uh, that uh, dash piece back in the dash and I'll show you guys how it turns out. Please excuse my mess. I've been doing a lot of wiring today, but I got everything kind of loomed up here. You can see all my switch wires coming through there. This is where the voltmeter is gonna be. So we got the hot and then the, the ground. Then the ground goes down to this switch and then is grounded in the dash. So just like the circuit I showed you guys, this just puts a break in the ground. So let's get this back into place. Take this guy. This should just push back in there. Let me get that in there and then I'll uh, I'll cut you guys back on, okay? Okay, that gauge cluster goes in there, piece of cake. I mean, it's just got two clips right here and right there that push into the dash. And then you've got one Phillips head screw right there at the top that holds it into place. I mean, very, very easy to uh, pull that out and put it back in, okay? So then this goes in here. All we got to do is plug up. Okay. Okay. So then this is what goes right here like that. So you guys can kind of visualize that. The gate, the uh, voltmeter is going to go right there. All we got to do is plug in our wires. Okay. So as you can see, We've got the positive going into the positive, negative going into the negative. And I like to use these plastic covered um, terminals when I'm putting stuff in my dash because you do not want that to arc or ground out and then cause a fire. I mean, that's just safety precautions. I always use those plastic covered ends when I'm working inside the dash. R really anywhere because something touches that it's going to arc and it's going to, it's going to, well, it's going to pop the fuse. That's why I have it fused. But I mean, theoretically, you don't want that to happen anyway, because that's how you start a fire. So then this bad boy just pops into place. There. Again, it's like Mitsubishi wanted me to put that there. Like, bro, we know you're going to be putting a gauge here. So we'll just leave you a little spot for it now. Let's see what happens. I should hit this and the light should come on. <laughs> there we go. Piece of cake. Off. On. Off. On. All right. Very good. Off. On. So guys, there you have it. Um, installed a voltmeter in the uh, go-kart. Ended up being like a 15 minute video. Probably could have been like a two minute video, but whatever, you get the idea. I mean, pretty simple, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's not for some people who've never done anything like that. Um, just like to video the process of everything that I'm doing in this car. So I appreciate you watching. Please like the video, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Oh, one more thing. I, uh, I also have a store online where I do drop shipping. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with uh, my YouTube channel, but I made a, a uh, coffee mug that is base head inspired. And so I will put a link to that mug in the description of this video and if you want to buy a coffee mug i'd greatly appreciate it it would really support me i'd let me know that you guys are watching and that you like what i'm doing so anyway thank you for watching have a good day and remember play your music loud <laughs>